What is going on YouTube? It's been a little bit. Uh, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, my name's John. This is my Duramax behind me. As you can see, it's a bit torn apart from what you guys are used to, um, but be sure to subscribe. I'd sort of taken a leave of absence just because work had sped up, and now that school's back in session, uh, if you guys don't know, yeah, I'm a full-time college student. also work full-time. Uh, to me, the grind doesn't stop, and there really isn't any time to slow down. So. Uh, that's just my mentality and you'll see that with some of the things that I do uh, throughout this vlog, throughout this channel, uh, and the things that I do with my vehicles. Uh, vehicles to me is a passion. Vehicles to me is uh, a hobby of mine and I, I really enjoy it and uh, every day I try to learn a little bit more about it. Uh, and yeah, so as you can see behind us we got my 2004 and a half LLY Duramax that is ripped apart. And you can see we have pretty much everything taken apart here. Uh, and what we're doing today is we're going to be, uh, well, the, over the next several days, is doing the frame. So as you can see, the frame has seen better days. It's a 14-year-old truck. You would hope that, you know, it is in this condition because it uh, it's not bad. That's... That's the good thing. It's really not bad. It's not great, um, but I would consider it to be in okay condition. Uh, so the steps that we're going to do here, well, my camera just cut off, so I'm going to pick up where I think it cut off. Uh, previous steps that we did was we loosened the bed bolts and got those taken off. We lifted the bed. Uh, after that, we took off the rear bumper here. After the rear bumper, we jacked it up, put it on jack stands. The camera keeps shutting off, so I'm gonna try a different setting. So if the if it looks like it just transitioned a little bit, that's why. Um, so after we put it up on jack stands, we went ahead and tore apart the wheels, got the wheels off. We took the rotors off. After taking the rotors off, we took the brakes off, removed the brake pads, uh, inspected the brake pads, and uh, saw that I will probably need new brakes, and I'm gonna replace the emergency brakes and uh, replacing the bearings too. So kind of an all extensive project here uh, that <clears throat> I've kind of torn into. I have really big plans for this truck coming up within the next month, month and a half. I ordered a lot of parts um, in the beginning of winter. Uh, they're just starting to get through powder coating right now. It's nothing lift kit wise, so if that gives you an idea as to what we're doing to the truck. Um, and doing this maintenance stuff is just getting ready for most of that. So I'm just going to stop talking now. I'm going to get down to work. Uh, these are the steps that I'm going to take. Um, I don't know if this is going to be like an instructional video or I'm going to kind of uh, use like a clickbait title to kind of get people to come view this again. But, uh, as you can see, I'll use this as an example. We have some really, really clean steel right here, uh, the frame, uh, this cross member beam for your fuel tank I'm assuming. <clears throat> As you can see, you can see the original GM factory uh, bed, or excuse me, frame coating right there and I was able to scrape it off. Then there's sections like this that need a uh, wire wheel to it, which that's what we're going to use today. Uh, so <clears throat> that's what I did. Uh, as you can see, I have the tank dropped. I have my drive shaft removed, and uh, so we're just gonna kind of dive right into this full-fledged. Uh, here's all the parts over here. This is how I'm doing it. You don't have to do it the same way. I'm probably doing something wrong. You guys uh, can comment down below. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, there's all the parts. <clears throat> Super simple, guys. Uh, if you guys wanna do this, the hardest part is gonna be allocating time. Uh, and yeah, so I'm just gonna dive right into this. I'm gonna be using, this is what I'm gonna be using. <clears throat> Rust-Oleum, this stuff's great. We rebuild a lot of trailers out here at the shop. And this stuff uh, attaches to everything. So if you don't exactly have a clean surface, it's perfect. Um, I have some spray uh, Rust-Oleum too, uh, just for the places I have a hard time reaching grinder, 
And uh, yeah, so first step here, I'm just gonna go over some of the parts that I don't want to get all the dust debris on. So I'm gonna cover that with plastic and masking tape. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start right into this. All right guys, all I'm showing you here is uh, where it's flaking. You can see, I'm gonna try to set this down. The lighting isn't good though. Um, you can pull this off. This is what's originally on the frame. You can pull this off, and this is what it does in time. It gets hard and it flakes off. Um, so on these newer GM trucks, it's the same coating. Uh, but that's all I'm trying to show you here. Uh, just that, that's what happens to it, just so you guys know, through time. Uh, also, one thing I do want to... I don't know how many of you guys are actually going to be doing this, but uh, so if you are doing this, get a scraper and a lot of these areas that have a lot of rust on it, caked on it, take a scraper to it, scrape it off. You're going to be saving yourself uh, getting hit in the face a lot. All right, all I've done so far is just wrap the back. I just don't want any of this heavier debris hitting stuff. Um, I'm going to wrap, I wrapped the top part of the fuel tank. I wrapped my uh, lift pump. Um, and one more section that it, once again, poor lighting. Uh, but where your drive shaft enters into, uh, I wanna tape that up. You can hit this all with a wire brush and stuff and paint that up, it's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, but that section, the inlet maybe, uh, for lack of better verbiage, you definitely wanna tape that up. All right guys, I think I'm just gonna show you what I'm using. So as for some of the crevices stuff, um, focus. All right, just like a, a brush, like a little wire wheel brush. Um, for my grinder itself, I'm gonna use the 60 grit right here. And I uh, got another wire wheel. Uh, this stuff works pretty well. I find that this is a little bit easier to use, um, but I mean, if you got 30, 40, $50 to spend on parts, I'd go ahead and use that. Here's just some filters for my uh, respirator. Here's my respirator. Uh, I can't stress this enough guys, use safety materials, uh, especially when you're working with this much uh, contaminants in the air once you're done. Uh, just be safe, uh, obviously safety glasses and your respirator like I said. I'm going to set up a fan that way I can ventilate the garage. This is a pretty big garage as you can see but it's always super safe to just take the measures that you can to uh, help yourself in the future, that's all. Uh, normally speaking, okay, you don't think it's gonna be that bad. I did a trailer, or wheels. I did trailer wheels for 15, 20 minutes, and there's two filters on this, and that's what I would've sucked in. So just kind of putting it in perspective. Guys, you can get these online on Amazon for like, if you have Amazon Prime, it's like 25 bucks, two day shipping to your house. Just take advantage of it, that's all. But like I said, I don't know if you guys are gonna take anything away from this. Um, but this is just what I'm doing. I have my grinder hooked up. I have the little wire wheel hooked up right there. Um, I'm gonna start with hitting this piece because it is relatively bad. Um, one thing I do suggest is to either take some kind of like pressurized air to this to blow it out. That way you don't get shit in your eyes like this. Like all of this is just from uh, breaking apart and scraping. That's all the big stuff. Uh, that's just my suggestion. Suggestion. Once again, you guys don't have to. Uh, just trying to help you guys out in the longer run. But uh, I'm gonna start hitting this. Here's the before shot. And I'm just gonna hit it real quick, real quick with the grinder. Grinder after I hook up this uh, this fan to get some ventilation in here. And uh, I'll show you guys after. All right, guys. So I just cleaned up this one part real quick. Hit it with the uh, grinder wheel. And as you can already see such a large difference um, these crevices and stuff I'm probably gonna have to get to with the wire wheel not the grinding pad uh, I went ahead and touched this up and I was trying to get in here uh, biggest thing guys is if like I said if you're doing this be careful when you put your grinder in these crevices because you get the thing it's called kickback and it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna throw this grinder directly at you and I caught mine luckily uh, and I, I do this all the time so uh, just you know, be conscious of it. And I've been taking this tool, like I said, just hitting inside these wheels. With this, this tool. Another thing I suggest when you're doing this is, be sure to take like, take one surface at a time. So I took this surface here and do it all once, okay? 
and then say let's do this surface and then this surface and then you work your way across. The only thing I'm trying to say is just keep track of what you're doing that way you don't have to do it twice and then if you're like oh well I'm gonna remember to hit this and you miss it and then you know kind of defeats the purpose of doing something like this. So uh, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Uh, my buddy Matt is gonna be here in a little bit. Um, he's been in a couple of vlogs uh, so he'll film for a little bit while I'm touching this up but Slowly but surely, like I said, guys, this is gonna be the longest part. I'm gonna stop talking, and uh, yeah, enjoy. All right, guys, Matt showed up, so Matt's giving me a hand. Um, where we're at right now is we are, I'm gonna just show you this again as a baseline. Uh, so, started with this, working our way around on the top frame here, and uh, we're figuring this out the hard way. Uh, I'll show you this middle section. Um, so this middle section here that we're hitting, uh, you see all these little lines? That's from us hitting it with a scraper. Uh, what we did the first time uh, everywhere was we went ahead and just hit it, like a section like this, as you can see. And this black stuff that's on here is the previous uh, undercoat that came from factory, like this. Um, so imagine this being on here just like this and you're taking a scraper to it and this is a rubber material so as it heats up it's just going to kind of just spread out and bond more uh, so we're scraping this off first to get as much off, off as we can and then kind of just going at it again with uh, the grinders and then scraping it one more time and uh, it looked like crap like this uh, it looked like it was kind of just like like we didn't do much to it and then I took some acetone to it just to get an idea of like how much work we were gonna have to do and it came pretty much completely off like if we hit it with the scrapers one more time it'd be fine so that's where we're at right now we're gonna go head to the store to pick up some more materials <clears throat> this is super super nice for getting in the crevices um, as I had showed you before with hitting like the small holes and stuff but uh, it's just not really Forky enough or uh, powerful enough to really get some of the tough spots like these hangers because uh, getting in there with a grinder is a little bit terrifying so we're gonna try to find another tool at the store while we pick up more wire wheels and stuff but look at all this crap there's so much and like I said we haven't really been grinding it's mostly scraping so far but it's pretty wild all right, so just some progression here. Um, we've kind of hit everything on the surface to probably where the shock mount is. Uh, on the top side and the, uh, the side surfaces, we haven't gotten like in or underneath yet. Um, it's like eight o'clock right now. Matt's been here since two. two? Been here since uh, eight. So I'm probably gonna call it right there and kind of do this as a couple step video because um, I'll probably uh, edit this and get it out there uh, being that I haven't uploaded in forever. So if you guys are interested in seeing the rest of this, uh, be sure to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for 3,000 uh, subscribers since I've been away. I've gone like 500 plus subscribers and uh, every single one of you count. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, we all share a passion, our passion is vehicles. Um, it might not be a truck, might not be. Uh, There's a truck right there too. That's a big old truck. Uh, but I appreciate it, I really do. Um, big things for this channel to come, so be sure to subscribe. Uh, hit that thumbs up button, it actually helps me out a ton. Uh, that way, you know, this, uh, this channel can keep growing. So here's the progress. And uh, that's a wrap on day one. Look at all of that. But all right, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in as always, and uh, have a good one.